Hi everyone, so today I'm going to make a video on my favorite mega number which is 3 triple arrow 3 some people uh, call it try try or try tree or tree tree whatever you want because you know triangles start with uh, tri anyway um, this is actually uh, this mega favorite number thing is uh, actually suggest originally suggest by dream James Grime, which is a uh, pretty famous mathematician. He appears a lot in Number File, and he are actually started this back in I think August two thousand twenty. So I'm pretty late to this game. But anyway, um, so let's get started. And actually, I have uh, a few polls asking what's your favorite number. I mean, favorite big number. But I think. Most people pick Graham's number, and I agree this is probably one of the most popular or most favorite uh, big numbers. Actually, it's also my favorite number, but actually I think I already talked about this many times, and it's pretty well known, so I decided to pick a similar number as my favorite mega number, which is 3 triple arrow 3. Um, and in this case, you have to uh, you you're free to make a num uh, a video on your favorite number, but it has to be bigger than one million. So anyway, I picked this number, of course, because you know I don't want to pick Graham's number. It's just too common. And um, the reason I you know again uh, a short story why I like Graham's number, of course, because um, is probably the biggest number that can be explained in layman terms or actually we know how to get to it there's a formula for it at least you know i know there's a lot of uh, numbers that is bigger than grams number such as tree three but as you know is not easy to explain or understand and we don't even know how to get there or how to calculate it i think grams number is probably the biggest one and it's pretty straightforward, easy to explain actually, pretty easy to understand. Um, but in this video, I'm, I'm gonna pick this number because I think I never talk about it and it's included in many of my polls and it's actually, I think it's the smallest number in this form that is off the scale big. And of course, you know that 3 arrow 3 is 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. So of course, this one is not off the scale big. What about 3 double arrow 3? 3 double arrow 3 is 3 arrow 3 arrow 3, which is 3 to the 3 to the 3, which is 2 to, I mean, 3 to the 27, which is around 7.6 trillion. This is, of course, much, much bigger than 27, but still is not off the scale big. 7.6 trillion is still... Uh, most people, you know, can still kind of understand what is 7.6 trillion. Um, however, 3 triple arrow 3 means 3 double arrow 3 double arrow 3, which is 3 double arrow 7.6 trillion, which is means uh, it's a power tower of 3, 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3, to the three da, 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 for 7.6 trillion time. So this is definitely off the scale, at least um, for most regular normal people, and it's basically uh, it's also beyond astronomical. It's bigger than any number in astronomy. It's bigger than any number in physics, and this is the smallest number in this form three with any rules three. It's the smallest one that is off the scale, and I. Th I think still, even uh, for some people who have studied big numbers for a long time, I think most people still underestimate this number by a lot. And I think actually many people still underestimate even a Googleplex. So of course this number, as you can see, is way bigger than Google, is way, way, way bigger than Googleplex, is way bigger than Googleplex Plex, and is even way 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 bigger than google plex 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 and so on and in fact if you try to um if you try to uh say out this number that is if you try to match this number using google plex in this form um then you have to keep saying google plex 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 for around 7.6 trillion times with 7.6 trillion plex in it so let's say you can say one plex for uh one second so each second you can say one plex so how long would that take if you want to say out this number to match 
three triple arrow three. So that means you have to spend 7.6 trillion seconds, which is around 240,000 years. So way longer than any lifespan of any human or even any animals or even trees. So if you want to say out, just to say out this number, Google Plex, 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 you have to say it for 240,000 years. So this is just a quick idea of how big this number is. You're just trying to say it out. It's not the actual number itself. Um, and of course, therefore, it's uh, unreachable. Actually, it's so unreachable, at least in terms of real I mean, in the real physical world, it's way bigger than any astronomical astronomical numbers. Um, and in order to understand that, uh, of course, let's just to show you how unreachable it is. I'm gonna show you an example. So of course, you already know that if you follow my channel or if you like physics, you know the biggest number in physics or science is the Poincaré recurrence time which is um, this number over here. And of course, this is the Poincaré recurrence time of our observable universe, which is 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 2.08, which is already off the scale big, way bigger than uh, Googleplex or any number you can try to reach in, in real life. And one way to get a big number in the physical world, of course, is probability. So what's the smallest probability um, in the physical world, well, in that case, we have to look at quantum tunneling events. Of course, I know some people, they don't agree with this or they don't believe in this kind of stuff. It's kind of like magic to most people. But actually, well, to simplify this video, we just assume those are possible events. Um, so the smallest probability event is uh, quantum tunneling events, which is around 1 in 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 56. Again, this number is a very big number, way bigger than Google Plex. So this is basically the probability of um, quantum effects to generate a new Big Bang resulting in a new universe that is identical to our own observable universe right now, right in front of you. So again, try to digest this statement. Uh, again, it sounds like magic. Um, basically anything that can appear in thin air right in front of you is kind of like magic, right? Such as a Boseman brain appear right in front of you or uh, let's say anything. Um, your crush appear right in front of you or uh, even a clone of yourself appear right in front of you. Another earth happen, uh, appear right in front of you, something like that or you teleport, something teleport, something like that, they are all related to quantum effects. But the smallest probability of these, of them all, of course, is this one, is a new, uh, another universe identical to our own appear just in, right in front of us. So nothing beats this one, you know, in terms of uh, probability, lowest probability. So now we're trying to, f um, you know, we're trying to get a big number. So of course, we're not gonna end here we're gonna make or find an even bigger number that is um what's the probability of this event to happen for every single Planck time so Planck time is the smallest unit of time so uh, of course here we're talking about every single Planck time until the end or until the Poincaré recurrence time so first of all, we're trying to look at the probability. The probability of something is in the form of this, basically one over x, right? This is the probability. Let's say one in six would be one over six. But um, if you want to try something even more crazy or even crazier, then you have to look at the probability of multiple events, which is what we're trying to find out right now. So in this case, the formula would be one over x to the power of y. Well, we can look at some simple examples over here. Let's say, for example, you're to tossing a coin. So it has two sides, right? If you're trying to get heads, the chances are uh, is one over two, right? 50% chance. So if you want heads for two times in a row, then two to the power of two. So that's why it's in one over x to the power of y for probability of multiple events. So if you want to get 10 heads in a row, then one over two to the power of 10, which is one in 
1024. So it's a pretty low probability. Another example is rolling a die. So a die has six signs, right? Let's say you want to get six, then the chance is one in six, right? One over six. In this formula over here, probability is one over x, but probability of multiple events is one over x to the power of y. So let's say if you can, you want to get uh, two six in a row, then it will be one over six square, which is one over thirty six or one in thirty six. If you want to get uh, ten six in a row, then this is the probability, way lower than you know one over six. So now let's get back to the question over here. Uh, what's the probability of new universe? Uh, to appear right in front of you for every single playing time. So every single playing time, this has to happen. What's the probability? This is definitely the lowest probability that could ever happen in our observable universe within the Poincaré recurrence time. So it's a very straightforward calculation. So again, in this formula, 1 over x to the power of y. So the x here, the base here would be, of course, the probability of this quantum event which is 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 56 and y over here is the Poincaré recurrence time because the Poincaré recurrence time uh, it doesn't matter the unit it could be in years it could be in seconds it could be in Planck time it doesn't matter for a number this big the unit doesn't matter so that's why the number of Planck time in in uh, within the Poincaré recurrence time is this number same number so that's why x to the power of y, so 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 56 to the power of 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 2.08. So this number over here equals this. Um, of course, some people think this is not true. But anyway, if you understand big numbers, you know, and uh, you can try to use uh, hypercal to calculate your number. So this to the power of this is basically this one. So 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 120. And the probability is, of course, 1 in 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 120. So this number here represents the smallest probability that could ever happen in our observable universe, um, assuming quantum tunneling events are possible. So as you can see here, this number, probably one of the biggest number you can ever create in, uh, in the physical world, even including this uh crazy quantum thing which is which seems magical and most no, mo, many people actually they don't believe in that but anyway even assuming this is true the biggest number you can get is just this far 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 less than three triple arrow three this just shows you how unreachable three triple arrow three is doesn't matter this crazy thing happen every single playing time is still way 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 smaller than three triple arrow three and actually it's very easy to tell you can almost guarantee you will never reach this number using probability again because the formula for probability even probability for multiple events is in the form of x to the power of y and as you know three triple arrow three doesn't build from x to the power of y this is just a kind of like a exponentiation but 3 triple arrow 3 is not ex just exponentiation, it's a power tower, so therefore basically you cannot reach 3 triple arrow 3 using probability. That's the reason why. So, and still, even after this video, I believe many people still underestimate, gonna, uh, gonna underestimate 3 triple arrow 3, and I, you know, I could totally understand that. But anyway, 3 triple arrow 3 is way bigger than you think. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.